Welcome to KOTV Classics, the home of great fights and ring legends. We've delved deep into our archives and have pulled out five bouts for you to enjoy in this episode. So sit back and relax as we take a trip down boxing's memory lane on KOTV Classics. Following his controversial loss to Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Hearns was so distraught he travelled to the Bahamas in 1981. There he found fellow American Ernie Singletary, who'd lost his last two outings and wasn't expected to trouble the former champion. Nassau, Bahamas, 11th of December, 1981. Thomas Hearns, the white trunks with the red and yellow stripes down the side. Ernie Singletary with the white trunks with the ES on them and the blue stripe and border. Thomas Hearns, the taller of the two by a couple of inches. Very graceful on his feet. Singletary is fighting flat-footed. Hearns up on his toes with that lightning jab. Hearns got a tremendous ovation when he was introduced. Why not? He's a great fighter. I think what we're going to see in this fight, Don, is Hearns is going to try to keep Singletary from coming inside on him. Hearns is going to keep him away with his long jab. Hearns' best advantage in this fight is going to be his speed because he outdoes Singletary by about two to one in his speed power. He's very fast, but he also likes to mix it. Just wondering how he can uh, carry the weight over the distance, Davey and Randy. He doesn't fighting look, as a middleweight. He doesn't look one pound overweight, though. Look <laughs> at him. He's like a rock. <laughs> He's so lean. He no, looks great. It, it's all natural weight. I was talking to him earlier, and it's all natural weight. It's all nothing right. forced on. That's the best thing. And it's all natural. I'm just wondering if he might take his time for a while and uh, Get a good workout. I think he's looking for that spot for that right hand. Singletary is a tough customer, though. He's won 24 of his 27 fights, seven of them by knockouts. He's lost only three. If I'm not mistaken, I thought I saw a little blood inside of uh, Singletary's mouthpiece, right there towards the top. A little early, but it could be. He's taken some good jabs and a, and a couple of hooks. Singletary is working on the body, knowing that Hearns is so fast, he might not be so easy to hit in the head. And he's taller, of course. All right, watch the holding, Tommy. Break, break it up. Jay Edson Please, says, watch the holding, Tommy, and they break quickly. Jay Edson, the referee. That jab turned into a hook, a good one. <laughs> Missing with the left and coming back with the right, and Singletary scored. Again, He's, he scored again and again, again and again. All with right hand. Singletary is rocked, but he stays on his feet. Goes on Hearns. Just with the same punch, two fight. right hands again. But overhand right. Well, I'll tell you this, they didn't pick any pushover for Tommy. Bring it up, that's it. Jay Edson, the referee, you can hear him. Tom, Tom, you heard shaking his head a little bit. Oh, oh, Randy, we wish you good luck. Thank you. All right, round 10, here it is. What a round. Tenth and final round. Tommy Hearns. With the white trunks and the Bahamian nice right colors. Hand. Ernie Singletary Good with the hook. white trunks and the blue stripe and border, and they both got blood all over their trunks. Hearns has been cut around the left eye. Singletary's been cut around the left eye. There have been no knockdowns. Hearns is going after the knockout. He wants that knockout for that credibility in the middleweight class. Hearns is staying right there with Singletary. Almost got hit by a left hook. The left eye bleeding again on Singletary. Bleeding worse now. Singletary is backing Red up breeze, a lot breeze. more this round, I think, because he can't There's see. There's a possibility this could be stopped. Jay Edson's really watching that eye now. It's still not bothering his vision. 
crowd has been in an uproar all through this fight. Fantastic. Singletary still full of fight. That was a good attempt counter right hand by Singletary. The round is running its course. So is the fight. This is the tenth and final round. I bet both fighters are happy about that. <laughs> kind of happy myself. <laughs> Turns a little inaccurate oh, with his right. right hand, but he comes back now. He's staggering over there. His legs are a little bit weak. His legs are a little bit weak when Hearns is backs off, so yeah, he's at his him advantage. Off. He let him recover. Left a minute to go. It's a good body shot by Hearns. Right in the midsection. Call the attention of the referee to the left guy. No thumb, says the referee. First fight, first middleweight fight for Hearns, and he's doing a great job. Uh, this will set him up for some tougher now. opponents. Half a minute to go. Singletary is still hanging in there, punching the best he can. He Ever knows the round is almost over. Terrible eye right now, though. Ever yeah. seen anybody with more guts? Even worse. He's blinking now. He's trying to wipe the blood out of his eye. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Well, there will not be a knockout. Less than 10 seconds to go. There have been no knockdowns. It's almost over. Oh, I'm glad it's over. Look at that eye. And really a real affection, one to the other. Look at Tommy Hearns lifting Singletary's hand. That's what you call respect. Winner by unanimous decision, Thomas Hearns! USA 1910 and battling Nelson was looking to bounce back after losing his world lightweight strap earlier in the year. So the Big Dane found himself in an elimination bout for a shot at his coveted title. But Britain's Owen Moran was no slouch and was expected to give the former champion a stern test. Round one, Nelson the taller man on the right. He's five feet seven and a half inches, weighs 135 pounds. Moran a bit smaller in height is just under the lightweight limit. Battling Nelson is one of the greatest fighters of his weight. He likes to mix it. He's always forcing the fight. Nelson is 28 years old. Originally came from Denmark. Made his home in the Chicago area. He started fighting in 1896 and is engaged in 87 bouts, winning 29 by knockout. <laughs> Battling Nelson won the lightweight title from Joe Gans, July 4th, 1908 right here in San Francisco. He knocked Gans out in the 17th round. Nelson on the left. Nelson lost his title to Ad Walgast several months before today's bout. Walgast gave him a terrible beating, but couldn't knock Nelson out. The referee stopped the fight in the 40th round and declared Walgast the winner. Second, third, and fourth rounds, Moran's clever boxing keeps Nelson off balance. Now round five of this 20-rounder between Battling Nelson, former lightweight champion, and Owen Moran, 